it is transplanting day. All of the seeds that we planted, uh, let's see, it was about a month ago, they are getting too big, too, too big. Here's what happens. You'll know they're getting too big, not just by their size, but if they are wilting within one day of you watering them, they need a much bigger container to be in. And the benefit of transplanting them is that it's going to give them a larger space so they can actually get bigger and stronger before you want to move them out to your garden. So we need to do some transplanting. Okay, now check this out. The tomato plants are much, much bigger. Some of them are much, much bigger than the rest of the plant. Well, I need to keep the lid on this so that everything else can continue to germinate and grow and get strong. So we're gonna take those tomato plants out, get those planted. But first, we gotta get some dirt going. So we have our dirt. We have our pots. Whenever you buy any plants, save these. If you have somewhere, just to tuck them away in your garage or a potting shed. Um, these are so helpful when it comes to transplanting the plants, the seedlings. So save these. Um, and let's start with our tomato plants. Um, the tomatoes are so cool because they actually will grow roots straight out of the stem right here. All this fuzzy part right here will actually be where they begin to put roots out. So when we plant it, I'm actually gonna plant it right up here, right underneath this first set of leaves, and the roots are gonna make the whole thing sturdier and stronger. We have our tomato plant resting in there. You wanna be so careful that you don't snap that stem or press on it too hard. It's still so fragile. So it's tucked down there pretty far into the pot and I'm just gonna gently put the dirt around it and get it so that we are burying the stem almost all the way up to that first set of leaves so that our tomato plant can get so strong and sturdy because it will stay in this pot until we put it in the ground in about a month. So it will end up getting very big, too big for the pot, but that'll be fine because it's gonna head out to the garden. So here we go. Now it's tucked in to its nice new pot. It can get nice and big and it will stay in here until we plant it middle of May is typically when we put the tomatoes out. Um, if you don't grow them from seed and have it be a full vibrant plant, you'll want to purchase one from a greenhouse because tomatoes in the Pacific Northwest cannot start from seed straight in the garden. We just don't have a long enough growing season. So now we need a tag for this. For tags, um, we like to reuse stuff. So if you keep an old yogurt container or sour cream container or some kind of container that you can cut the bottom off and then you're going to just cut strips of it. It doesn't need to look pretty. This is never going to be out in the garden or in a big photo shoot. It's literally just so we can label it. Now that it's in its own pot, I wanna remember what kind of tomato this is or what kind of zinnia I planted or sometimes it's a brand new flower and I don't know exactly what they look like from the beginning. So I just wanna put a tag, okay? So reuse your old containers, cut them apart. I have another one here. We'll just cut it apart and then we have some tags. If any of your starts are growing in these seed pods that have this mesh around them, this is a great time to just gently pull it off. Um, it's not gonna keep the plant 
um, like it's not going to stunt the growth of the plant but I do find these in the garden they don't decompose that well or fast and so I feel like the plant has a better chance if that isn't constricting all of the growth so gently pull it off and now these basil starts are ready to go into their pot Sometimes you have several plants that come up in the same pod. And because it is sturdy enough, I'm just gently pulling it apart like this so that I can actually create two separate plants. Because this is um, a type of rudbeckia and I really want it to fill out. And so I'm gonna pull it apart so that the plants can actually get bigger.